Well, good morning. I'm delighted to be here, uh, Kalista, and thank you so much for inviting me to this event. And clearly, you know, the Kurt Star, David, and you know, done the fabulous job creating this uh, Risk Five at UC Berkeley. I'm quite heavily involved with the advisory boards of uh, Berkeley, so I'm delighted and so proud of UC Berkeley and the contribution they make. I think, you know, the, it's exciting to see that, you know, clearly from Kalista presentation and Manju presentation, it's about 10 billion devices, you know, with the RISC V core inside. And I think it's projecting to, you know, 80 billion in the next few years. So I think it's a tremendous opportunity. And uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about what I see from my uh, point of view, uh, some of the opportunity and challenges going forward. Clearly, there's a very strong interest uh, from the industry, from the customer, from government to accelerate the adoption of RISC V. And uh, many of my customer, uh, being an uh, executive chairman of Caden, there's a lot of customer requests uh, to support the RISC V. So that's something that's very exciting. We always respond to the customer requirement and uh, to drive the power, the performance, the area, and then drive the efficiency and the scaling. And then the other part of opportunity is, you know, if we can build the diversity of uh, mechanism to support multiple risk five because it's an open standard, and uh, so that we can really create opportunity for innovation and also for collaboration together. And uh, area that we can also focus on uh, really drive the more adoptions uh, is continue to drive the security and of course the performance and power and that is uh, very important to drive the gigahertz and then lower the power in terms of the system uh, level and also the chiplet, how to scale it, and that's very important. Uh, faster interaction for the instruction set uh, definition and also welcome more uh, players into the ecosystem and uh, accelerating the uh, innovation. And then also I think it's very important to keep the platform, the software design I will talk about that and some of the challenges, how to scale it, and that's very important. Sorry, I think the, I jumped. Okay, the challenges. So a couple of challenges as from my uh, point of view uh, in terms of the platform system level features for high performance, uh, high end performance processor for the data center, the cloud. Uh, that is still in development. So something that we had to continue uh, contributing and then driving some of this platform system level uh, requirement. And secondly is the lacking uh, in general available in the high-end development boards and system. And again, bringing more partners to and system level company to work with us, I think is very important. One is very dear to me is the software tool from the compiler MLIR uh, to the you know, profiling infrastructure, debugging tools. Uh, there are still a lot of room for improvement. Uh, that's a great opportunity to really work on that. And then uh, in the compiler side and the MLIR, I invest quite a few companies uh, to create the next generation software to make the risk file even more productive. Uh, the other part is the ISA fragmentation and then uh, you know, have a better uh, coordination and also on the software collaboration, uh, that I think is continue to improve. Uh, faster porting and optimization of software to the risk file, as I mentioned earlier, and then also the OS software mechanism in terms of um, easy support, multiple profile on the hardware support. You know, the last few years, you know, I have been find, uh, backing and partnership with ARM and then uh, these are the few companies I invest in. You know, Annapurna Lab, some of you may heard about that. Uh, I sold it to Amazon. Uh, if you look at the Graviton 2, you know, the Natural and 3 and all the training chip and uh, become a very powerful company and then it's a very good uh, acquisition from Ama uh, Amazon and I'm very happy to see the success. Uh, same thing with Nuvia. And uh, it's also an uh, arm base. And then I scale it and then sold it to Calcom, become a very important business for them. 
Uh, likewise, in the SEMA, uh, this is on the embedded space, uh, the team from uh, uh, Xilin, and, uh, and also the, you know, the Alif. Alif is more in the 5G, 6G enabled microcontroller, and also the Syntium, and that is on the IoT edge area. So I've been done quite a lot in uh, creating the platform for ARM. In the last few years, I started to really focus on the RISC V investment and how to create some of this important ecosystem to build uh, and proliferate more. Uh, you know, Ventana, uh, Revos, it's more on the high-end processor for the data center cloud area. And of course, Sci-Fi in the very early, uh, usually I go in very early seed stage. And also, uh, kind of, you may not heard of it. And this is another something that uh, I'm excited about. So again, you know, the, this is a fantastic opportunity in front of us. And as I mentioned to, to you, there's a great opportunity and also a lot of challenges to make it better, uh, I think, for the industry. And uh, clearly, we need everyone to show support and, and uh, to you know, contribute to the RISC V. And uh, some of my investing company, they are very involved with the RISC V various committees and then try to be contributing for the industry. So I think we need all of us to work together uh, to make this uh, RISC V is an open standard and now open for collaboration and innovation. And I think that would be great for the whole semiconductor industry. And I have invested uh, 85 company semiconductor investment for the last few years. And then, uh, frankly speaking, there's a time a lot of VC, you know, every time I go to their conference room, you know, I talk about semiconductor deal, they all walk away or say, that, well, do you have any software service or climate technology? And uh, those are great company, great investment. But I felt that you know, this is an area that I like to invest. And so far, it's not bad. You know, I have 19 IPO, uh, 26 trade sales successfully. And so I think that, uh, right now, I'm so excited. More and more, my brother and sister in the venture industry starting to join me on the AI machine learning area investment. And then uh, clearly, on the new instruction set, and then with AI machine learning applied to some of the vertical market, is fascinating. Uh, lately, I've been very, very interested in this whole uh, massive data you know, infrastructure play. And, and uh, you know, the, like the data breaks, snowflake, this is just the beginning. And the other part is AI machine learning. One of the areas I'm really excited is this generative AI. I already make four investments in this area. And then uh, basically able to transform data content uh, in the using AI machine learning to drive some of the new uh, data, new model, and then for advertising, for product launch, and that's fantastic. And then the other part, you know, is the AI machine learning apply into the drug discovery and more accurate bio for personalized medicine. And uh, I think that is a gold mine. It's fantastic, and uh, RISC-V can play a very big role in some of this uh, exciting uh, journey that I'm inviting all of you to join me to create more excitement uh, on this area. Uh, thanks so much and have a wonderful uh, morning and the next two days uh, event. Thank you.